Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nth Design channel. My name is Nate, and today we're going to be using an FTDI controller to interface with an Arduino Pro Mini. The Arduino Pro Mini doesn't have a USB port, so we have to use the FTDI to program the Arduino. So we're going to open up the anti-static bag that has our Arduino Pro Mini. This is the FTI, FTDI board. Let me focus in on that. Pretty standard device. So here we go. We have the Arduino Pro Mini and lots of headers that we're going to be soldering on. And as we bring this in, the Arduino Pro Mini, it's a great board, has lots of I.O. pins, and it's very affordable. It's the kind of board that you wouldn't mind leaving in your project. You'll also notice that the Arduino Pro Mini came with these angled header pins. These match up really well with the angled header pins on the FTDI, and we're going to be using some of this DuPont-style female-to-female cables uh, to connect the two together for programming. So here's a closer look at the Pro Mini. Uh, we're going to be soldering on uh, the top and bottom headers here, uh, straight headers, and then we're going to be using the angled headers on this far right edge. Notice that we have access to VCC and ground on, on that bottom row uh, there. We are probably not going to be using this ground A6 and A7 over here just because of the layout that I want to use this for later. You'll notice that the headers provided with this board are a little long, so we are going to snip right uh, there so that we can get them down to size. We're going to be soldering these headers on, so the first thing I'm going to do is prop them up here. Let's see if I can do this in a way that you'll be able to see it. I'm just going to insert the headers like so on both sides and uh, then set it up here and then we're going to go ahead and solder. You can't do this if you're a kid because this is bad but you can watch and talk to people while your dad is actually um, doing it and you don't touch anything. You can just sit there, don't touch anything, only the table, and watch your dad. And when your dad is not talking, you can talk. Those are great safety tips from my uh, partner over here. And next, we're going to solder on the uh, angled header pins here. This is going to be a little more difficult. Maybe we should have done this first. Beside the fact that they're affordable and they're small, one of the best features of the Arduino Pro mini boards is that they fit on a standard breadboard. Now this may be a little hard to see, but the pins on the FTDI line up with the pins on the Arduino Pro mini. Uh, that is, except where the FTDI has the receive pin as the second pin. The Arduino Pro Mini has the transmit pin as the second pin. The FTDI has the transmit pin as the third pin. And the Arduino Pro Mini has the receive pin as the third pin. And of course that makes sense because we're going to transmit on the FTDI and receive on the Pro Mini. Uh, so that works out very well for our DuPont style female to female cables. Also notice right here on the FTDI, we have a jumper that allows us to select
between uh, 3.3 volt and 5 volt. And the Pro Mini here operates on 3.3 volts. So we're going to pick up that jumper and uh, move it over one. like so. And here we have the FTDI connected to the Arduino Pro Mini using the, the DuPont style female to female cable. So now that we have our Arduino Pro Mini connected to the FTDI and that connected to our computer, we're going to go into the Arduino IDE and upload a sketch to our Pro Mini. Uh, so here we are in the Arduino IDE we're going to go to File and choose New. And we're going to go to File, Examples, Basics, and choose the Blink example. Uh, and we'll get rid of some of these extra menus here. I have the font scaled up so that everyone can see on this HD video. And what I like to do is go down here and change the Blink example to something very unique so that we can be really sure that our code is working. Uh, so I'm going to change this single Blink to sort of a Blink Blink, Blink Blink pattern. So we're going to set the first Blink to 100 milliseconds, and it'll be off for 100 milliseconds, and then we'll copy that and do the same thing. And then in between our Blinks, we're going to put 600 milliseconds for a nice healthy pause between there. Now, before we're able to upload this sketch, we have to change or at least check some settings about how our Arduino Pro Mini is connected to the computer. And so we're going to go to the Tools menu. And in the Tools menu, we're going to go to the Board sub menu and make sure that Arduino Pro or Pro Mini is selected. And it is. The next thing we have to do is go to the Tools menu and choose the Port submenu and make sure that our USB serial port is connected. Now you may have several of these and you just have to find the one that happens to be connected to your Arduino and for us it's this CU USB serial port and so we'll select that. Finally we can go and upload our sketch and if we look at the bottom in the status area, we're going to see in a second here that uh, it's going to error out. And so the question is why? The answer is that this setup doesn't seem to properly reset between uploads. And I've tried pressing the reset button on the Pro Mini, that doesn't do anything. The FTI doesn't have a reset. What has worked for me is to unplug the USB cable from the computer, plug it back in, and then click that upload button again. And when we do, give it a couple seconds here, and we're going to see done uploading. And I can look over at my Arduino Pro Mini now, and I am seeing that blink, 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 blink pattern. As always, thank you for joining me today. If you have any comments or questions, you can find me on Twitter and in other various corners of the internet with the username Nth Design. That's N T H D E S I G N. Last but not least, if you liked this video and you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you again real soon.